Good morning everybody, um, just a quick update um, to tell you what we know, um, which in general isn't much more to what you know from the press and the government briefings. Um, I was in a, a webinar with the BHHPA on Thursday with over 900 members discussing uh, potential opening dates, uh, health and safety to be able to reopen, um, which basically is the position we're in now. The government's new buzzword seems to be COVID secure. This seems to be talked about everywhere, even my wife's hospital, they've brought in new COVID secure policies. Uh, it's basically, a, for us, definitely, it's, it's a five point plan. Uh, which we have to be compliant with. We are four points compliant already. The only other thing needing doing, which will be done this week, are COVID risk assessments, which uh, are a, a legal thing that we have to be done by law to be able to reopen. But I can assure you, they will be done and in place this week. Um, it's uh, it's all going to be slightly different uh, when we reopen. The the most important thing that we want to do is get everybody back being able to use the caravans. Um, so initially, that will mean that it will just be the caravans, um, the the bar, the shop, the laundry they will be opened at later dates when it's viable and safe both for uh, staff and customers to do so. Um, with regard to a reopening date, um, basically the whole industry seems to be working on a date of the 4th of July. Um, this was actually Possibly confirmed, I got an email the other day off Graham Tomlinson, uh, he'd emailed his MP uh, looking for more information because our MP doesn't seem to be bothered to reply to anything that I ask him for. Um, I'll not look at the camera now because I'm just going to read this email to you, then you can basically know exactly what he knows and I know. Uh, the email says, My department has been working closely with the sector, including the BHHPA, through the Visitor Economy Working Group to produce guidance on the reopening of the tourism sector. This will include guidance on hotels, caravans and other guest accommodation. This guidance will be published shortly. Visit England are working on a common industry standard quality mark. Whilst work is ongoing, it will be designed to complement COVID-19 secure guidelines produced by the government. We will look at opening forms of holiday accommodation in step three of the government's recovery strategy, currently planned for the 4th of July at the earliest. This will be subject to further scientific advice and the latest risk assessment at the time. We remain in regular contact with the Caravan Park stakeholders, including the BHHPA, through the Visitor Economy Working Group and the Tourism Industry Emergency Response Group. So that's the email that um, Graham's MP got from, it says the Minister, I assume it's the, uh, the Minister for the Department of Culture, Media and Sport, uh, because they seem to be the ones that uh, I know the BHHPA are in contact with the most. Um, where it said about Visit England um, coming up with a quality mark, I do know that this week sometime we're going to be given details on a, a certificate which we can apply for, which is called a Good To Go certificate. Uh, we fill out the form, we say what we've done uh, to be COVID secure and they will come and assess us to make sure that what we've said has been done um, and then they will give us a, a certificate to show this. Um, it's meant to be industry wide and the whole hospitality industry. It's advised that everybody does it 
Um, basically, it's to give reassurances to staff, to you, the customers, and also to the local areas, because this seems to be one of the biggest sticking points um, about reopening. We see the protests um, by uh, Devon and Cornwall, Cumbria, Wales, saying, don't visit us, we're not open. We need, um, as an industry, to be able to say to locals that we are doing it. With, with the reopening of, of small shops next week, without you, the customers, people aren't going to these small shops. Um, these small shops rely on holiday makers and such. Um, so it, it benefit, it's not just benefiting you, it's benefiting the local economy. People, locals will have jobs in those shops or businesses. Um, once we know uh, a little bit more in the next few weeks, we'll be sending out uh, more information to you. Um, one of these will be sort of an addendum to the site rules and the site license that you already have, and that will basically be uh, COVID related only, uh, and it will work on the advice as it is now. Uh, obviously the advice changes weekly, fortnightly, so as and when restrictions are released, um, those, those rules will be released, but again, those rules will be the only way we can reopen. If we, we can't say that you're all going to abide to those rules, and I mean industry-wide again, um, they won't let us reopen. So. Um, it's just it's important that uh, we, get, we get you all back and if that's how we have to get you back that that is what will have to be done um, I've probably rambled on quite a lot now but I just wanted to let you know what I know um, and then we're all heading in the same direction just a quick addition before uh, I go there was mention uh, in the webinar, um, somebody, um, I think one of the uh, speakers, did mention, um, mentioning to our owners, has anybody actually looked at your insurance um, and seen if there is anything on your insurance policy uh, that you could benefit from? Um, I know most insurance policies, both business-wise and everything, don't cover it. Um, but they just said, why don't you tell your customers, just ask. Um, there's no harm in asking, they can only say no. So um, it may give you something to have a look at. Uh, right, thank you all for listening uh, and I will speak to you soon and hopefully in a few weeks in person. Thank you.